how to homeschool my child. And I am here today to talk about one of our last, actually, last Thanksgiving idea that, that will be a Thanksgiving idea. Because after tomorrow, then I'm going to, to share some things about gratitude. And then we move into Black Friday. And the last day of our series actually is going to begin with Christmas. And we're going to give you some fun ideas for Christmas gifts for homeschools. So what am I going to do today? I want to share a fun Thanksgiving breakfast idea that I uh, we made last year with the family, although two of my grandkids weren't with us that day. And so what we did was, and these go along, if you missed my video from last week, I gave out seven fun food activities to teach the Pilgrim story, to talk about the first Thanksgiving. And then the kids can make a Mayflower boat with the Twinkie, or they can make a Pilgrim hat with a Reese's, or we had several turkeys, an apple turkey, a donut turkey, and those turkey donuts you could actually use for one of your breakfast ideas because your donut turkey was a donut with Fruit Loop, so you had cereal as well. And there were some other ideas in there, a, a teepee, a fun little Indian teepee, but today we are going to talk specifically about turkeys. And if you can see, let's see if I can get it. Uh, I was hoping I didn't have to hold it up. You can see this is a cinnamon roll and it's not just sweet. We got our protein going with the bacon and then we have the candy as well. And this is how you would make it. First of all, you're gonna need to cook for each turkey uh, cinnamon roll, you'll need two strips of bacon cooked. So I already have my strips of bacon. You'll need a candy corn. You'll need two eyes. These are candy eyes and they you can buy them in just the baking department at the grocery store and then our little red hot. So this is how it's going to work. Let me, um, I'm going to grab my spatula so I can hold it a little better. Um, because it's pretty sticky. First of all, I will be baking mine because I love to bake bread. That's just one of my hobbies. So I'll be making cinnamon rolls and I make them on Wednesday night. They rise overnight and we pop them in the oven. When they come back out, we drizzle all our good sauce and frosting on top. But you may not like to bake bread. Just go buy the pop out of the can and you can just make pop out of the can cinnamon rolls. That's all you need to do. I was too lazy to even do that because I don't really like them. So what I did is I actually went to the bakery and they come now. You can't pick them out like you used to. They came two to a package. So I had two of these. Now, what I want to show you here is there is um, a roll right there where the cinnamon roll has been rolled up. And that is where you want to insert your bacon. So we're going to, my hands are already sticky, yucky, yucky. All right, so let's see if you, I can show this to you. I'm going to stick the bacon in that little crease right there. And then I'm going to stick another bacon right next to it in the crease. And it's where you roll it up, um, where the cinnamon actually is in the cinnamon roll. Stop. I had, hey Google, helping me with my time. So you can see the feathers Here's are bacon. You can say, sorry. Or why is the sky blue? Quote. Yes, I shouldn't have said it because they understood me. So we've got the feathers here and they're in the little creases. The next thing we want to do is put the eyeballs on. And your kids can make all of this. So it's super simple. So I have my little candy eyeball from the bakery department. I was trying to not get so sticky and I'm just going to put it right here and it'll stick because there's frosting there and then I will put another one right there. So, so far we've got feathers and eyes. The next thing we need is the nose and that's a candy corn and since there's frosting there, it should stick. It may not this one. And then right underneath that, we're going to put the little gobble and then mine might fall apart if I tilt it. You can sort of see there's your turkey cinnamon roll. Super simple to make. And so that would be something fun. The other thing I showed you, and you can look at the um, directions from last week, are the donut turkeys. Or you could even have apple turkeys. We had apple turkeys. I'd save the Oreo cookies for later on in the day. But this is what we're going to have for Thanksgiving breakfast this year. 
If you have any ideas, and they don't have to be turkey decoration food, but if you have, I would love for you to pop in a comment right now and tell us what do you normally eat for breakfast on Thanksgiving? Is it anything different? I know for us on Christmas, we make pull apart bread, monkey bread, and that is just our family tradition. You may have a different tradition. You may have something specific that you are actually going to eat on Thanksgiving for breakfast. So let me just show these to you again. Actually, I'm going to hold this one up because it seems to be sticking. Here's what we made. We made the cinnamon roll, stick the bacon in the little creases, add the eyeballs, and then the candy corn. I guess I don't need to stand up. And then the um, red hot. If you're um, using the frosting, like pop out of the can, you can just use a little bit of the frosting and make the candy corn and the red hot stick. That's all I have for today. Thanks so much. I appreciate the people that were here. Be sure to leave a comment here and tell us what you're going to eat for Thanksgiving breakfast. I am Carrie Beck with How to Homeschool My Child. Be sure to hop over to the blog, howtohomeschoolmychild.com slash blog. There are so far about 18. We're about on day 18 of our 21 days ideas. Today's was seven practical tips to build build character with gratitude. Yesterday was cultivating gratitude all year long. These are older women that I would listen to if I were a young mom because they have grandkids. They are ones that really have ideas that work and they have, they've gone through it. And so I would really pay attention on the blog to some of the older women that are sharing their ideas as well. Um, I do have a freebie for the food on last week's blog as well and I'll put a link to that. Thank you so much for spending time with me. I hope that you can make some turkey cinnamon rolls with your kids as well.